Hello, it's me, it's your boy, Kai Notebook. Welcome everybody to the q and I actually shot a QA and a while ago, but unfortunately the footage was f***ing... Unfortunately, the footage was overexposed, so I have to shoot everything again. Yay me! But, anywho, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for 50k subscribers. Oh my god! It's honestly, that number is so insane. And if you guys are wondering why Mr. Fork is not here, uh, he has to go to college. So yeah, instead we have Mr. Spatula here in the meantime. But today, I'll be answering your questions. And you guys actually said a lot, so we'll be speed running through them. So, let's go. I divide the questions into 16 sections. Timestamps are down below. Let's get straight into it. Yo, Seth, what's your full name? Uh, my full name is Seth. Is Kai really your name? Uh, no, my real name is Seth. Uh, as I, like I said, my name is Seth. So yeah, the more you know. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Philippines, Baguio. Get it at DNS. I am currently 18 years old. Uh, this year I'm turning 19. Gracias. <laughs> Are you Korean? Uh, I am half Korean and half Filipino. What is the ethnicity of your parents? So my father is Korean and my mom is Filipino. And with a hint of Spanish. I, I don't know where that Spanish went. Probably went down. Half Filipino po ba kayo? Yes, I'm half Filipino. I don't know if this has been asked yet, but how tall are you? So unfortunately, I am 173 centimeters or around 5'8". I'm still praying to God that I will grow taller. But honestly, at this point, I should embrace my height <laughs> how many toes do you have uh i have nine toes uh the other one is asleep so let's not wake him where in the philippines do you live i don't live in the philippines at the moment i live in currently as a recording i'm in thailand where do you exactly live stalker three words to describe yourself i would say that i am <laughs> hmm. i would say i'm introverted Introverted and introverted Poggers What is the one thing that you dislike about yourself? So I have this very weird thing about myself that I suck at communicating Every time I'd receive a text from my friend or if ever I receive an email I would procrastinate on replying to that for some reason I have this, I don't know, something wrong with me about communication I just never talk, I never initiate a conversation with my friends So that's pretty much my problem <laughs> So yeah What makes you angry or pisses you off? I have a small I have a very weird pet peeve where every time I get interrupted, I just, I get very annoyed. Like whenever I'm in the middle of doing something, when someone texts me or someone calls me or something, I just, I don't know, I get a little annoyed. I don't really get mad that easily, so it's fine. As an INFJ, is it hard for you to socialize? As an INFJ, it's easy for me to reach out to people. Like I'm great at uh, talking to new people in parties that are like less than five people. Uh, I'm very good at meeting new people, especially when there's not many people around. But usually my problem is, <laughs> my problem the problem is maintaining friendships because like I said, I don't really chat much and I feel like I don't catch up with my friends that often. <laughs> I just feel like that type of friend where it's still the same when we, whenever we hang out even though we haven't hung out in like weeks rather than me just texting them every day I feel like you know if we're close friends why why do we have to check up on each other every day we should still be the same if we meet but yeah but I don't know that's my take on it. All right the next section we have is hobbies and music are you into sports if yes then which one's your favorite I used to play competitive sports back then. There were two main sports that I played. My first competitive sports that I played when I was young, and it's my favorite until now, is badminton. I just love playing badminton. It's just so fun, so relaxing, and it could be competitive at the same time. I think it's the casual nature of badminton that makes me love it so much. The other one I played for my junior high school, I played basketball. Nice and I. it's not my favorite because basketball is very rough. It's like, it's like almost football in a way where you have to like push people and stuff. Like, I don't know. I prefer the simple nature of badminton. It's more, it's more chill. Favorite song genre, Korean R&B. If you like Korean R&B, your taste is mwah. That was not a smoke. What's your favorite song? Ooh, my favorite song currently is, my favorite song currently is, Can I Call You Tonight by Dayglo. <laughs> 
I just I don't know why, but nowadays I'm so into like band music and like sort of like uh old style like vintage style music. So, favorite Pinoy band or artist? I like Ace of Spades. I mean four four of Spades. Uh, I really like uh four of Spades and Ben and Ben. Those are those two are like my top. But if I were to say my favorite, I would say Four of Spades because I don't know their song is really unique. I really love their songs, especially Come Inside My Heart. Do you have any favorite band or music? Uh, my favorite band is Foster the People. Following up, I would say Below Foster the People, I would say Prep, and then I would say Public. Those are like my top three bands. Do you like to read? If yes, any book recommendations? I like to read, but <laughs> I have to say that I don't read much right now. I can attribute that to the fact that there are not many English or international bookstores in Thailand. Unfortunately, I cannot buy books. I recommend you guys read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Great series. It has a bit of romance as well. You know, you know me. <laughs> Which is like your favorite book? Why did I say it like that? Um, my favorite book, I would say Maze Runner. It was the first book series that I've ever finished and religiously read. I read the second, third, and fourth book. I haven't read Fever Code yet, but I really love the book. Like I would read it until 3 a.m. Like my mom would catch me like, Are you not sleeping yet, son? Oh, oh, wait, oh, f f five more pages, five more pages, mom. Please, 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 please. It's like on, it's like, it's like on the good part right now, please. Ah, oh, okay, five more pages and then you sleep, okay? Like honestly, I spent until all until late night just reading that. So I would say that it would be my favorite book. Favorite shows? Go. Favorite shows? Uh, Sherlock Holmes by BBC, the one with Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm just saying, I really love Benedict Cumberbatch as an actor. You can say that I'm a Benedict Cumberbatch. Don't judge me. That's it. Really, his fandom name. Rick and Morty. I love that show. Uh, regular show. Adventure Time. Uh, I think Black Mirror. Is that how you call it? I love that show. Pretty dark. I watch it when I feel like being sad and that there's no hope in the world. Would you rather go to the movies or watch the movies at home? I would rather watch. Oh, f it's hard. Cause going out on movies with like, for example, if I had a girlfriend, it would be special like going out. But at the same time, watching movies at home is just. I would say watching movies at home. I, w I don't want to spend hundreds on like freaking movie theater food or popcorn. Like them shit expensive. Saying, can you draw? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I would say that I can draw a bit. Uh, anything that's related to like coloring, I I I just I lose all my skill in art. Like, I'm good at sketching. I love sketching. Like. Like, sketching's my thing, you know? And then the moment the teacher's like, All right, class, today we're using acrylic. What the fuck? Like, like, no cap. I suck at coloring. But yeah, I would say I can draw. <laughs> Do you play any instruments? And how many instruments can you play? Uh, I can play three instruments. All right, so when I was young, I first learned the piano. I had a few piano lessons. After that, I think I learned to play the guitar because at my home, I had like a guitar at home that no one was using. The third instrument is drums uh, because I had drum lessons when I was like a young teenager. My mom kind of forced me to get drum lessons, but honestly, I am happy that she forced me because now I can play drums. <laughs> Finally, what songs make you feel like you're in the other world? Fiji Blue, Space Makes You Sad. All right. Moving on to the third section we have is my language. The first question we have is how many languages do you speak? I speak one. <laughs> I mainly speak English. Do you speak in Korean or Filipino? So yes, I am half Filipino, half Korean, but I am neither fluent in both in either of those languages. <laughs> Growing up, I studied in an international school in the Philippines, so they mainly taught us in English, and most of my friends spoke English. And Growing up, my parents talked to me in English, so I never had a chance to learn Tagalog or Korean. Pero I did manage to speak a bit of Tagalog at that time because, you know, my friends are talking in Taglish and, you know, I can talk in Filipino accent, just saying. But yeah, as for Korean, I never had the chance to practice it. So yeah, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping when I go back, I will practice my Filipino and Korean, especially my Filipino since I'm going to be living there soon. But yeah, nakakapagsalita ka ba ng Tagalog or more in English language ginagamit mo? Yeah, I mainly speak in English. Like, like, kasi whenever I try to talk in Tagalog, it's like parang, you know, I, I just can't formulate words. But like when, whenever my friends are talking Tagalog, like parang I can understand a bit. Like I can sort of grasp like what they're saying. But then when they ask me to talk or when they ask me to speak speak something in Tagalog, I'm like, <laughs> Can you speak Thai? Sorry, 
เชลเลนแซดเกมนะครับแปลว่าผมไม่แข็งนะครับนะพูดท่ายไม่ได้ Thinking only the girl look in one bit oh no 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 that video either will be the most hectic vlog or the most quiet vlog <laughs> alright next section we have is food alright first question is what food or dish is your favorite I would say bone soup is still my favorite favorite Filipino food <laughs> <laughs> you laugh if I say this. I grew up to love fish. <laughs> like I love eating fish, and there's this one particular fish that I really love eating. It's called bangus. Bangus is just so good. It's so good. Like each, like even a small piece of bangus, it tastes really like it has so much flavor. Favorite Korean dish. There is one combination of Korean dish that I really like, and this is not really traditional Korean food. You guys should really try jajangmyeon and fried chicken. And fried chicken paired with radish. Oh, that is. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm craving. Uh, what's your favorite cake flavor? Depends on your meaning of cake. <laughs> uh, I would say chocolate and cheese. Speaking. Oh, speaking of cheesecake. Do you love cheesecakes? Please think of me when you see a cheesecake. Lol. I'm sorry, Cheska, but like every time I see a cheesecake, I will probably not think of you, and I'll just think of how much I want to eat that cheesecake. And finally, the last question on this list: Halo, halo, or ice cream? Fam, you already know the answer to that. Halo, halo, all the way. It's so good. Like ice cream is great. I love ice cream, like especially green tea. But like, halo, halo is like, oh, it's like. It's like it's like the whole package. You know what I mean? Imagine normal ice cream as a girl with great personality. Well, Halo Halo is that same girl, but with like many hobbies and passions. That what a f what a weird analogy. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next category. Here are the live questions. All right, first question: Are you looking forward to your future? I would say so. What is your biggest regret in life, Bob? My biggest regret in life. <laughs> okay, so this is this is quite of a petty regret, but uh, so in terms of all of the mistakes that I've done in my life, like for example, I used to be very cringe when I was in high school. Uh, but other than that, I would say my biggest regret is not studying when I was in high school. Like my grades were okay. It was like okay, okay. Like I was naturally good in science and math, so I didn't worry about those subjects. And then I ended up not studying, and I just ended up getting like. Like okay scores. Like I honestly could have gotten higher if I just studied. If I just took the time to study, find study habits and all that, I feel like I could have aced all of my tests and exams. Honestly, how's your gaining weight progress? Abominable. <laughs> How do you want to make your parents proud? All right, don't don't tell my parents they're in the next room, but I want to buy them a retirement home. <laughs> so. Expect more sponsorships. <laughs> All right. The next category we have is travel questions. Country or countries I would like to travel to. I never went to a European country. Is it just me? The only countries that I've been to are Thailand, Korea, and Philippines, and Singapore. Oh my god, Singapore was really great. <laughs> But yeah, I would like to visit European countries, or or I would like to visit Japan. That's one of the countries that I want to visit. Uh, maybe. America. I don't know what to see in America, but probably just for networking purposes. <laughs> Favorite place you visited so far? There's a very special place we visited in Thailand. It was so pretty. I swear to God, it's called the White Temple. It looks like this. It was so pretty. When will you go to the Philippines? I ain't telling you guys. <laughs> but for real, when I arrive, I'll tell you guys. I don't want to tell you guys when I will fly because it'll just be weird. How long will you be staying in the Philippines? Um, I would probably be staying for the. The remainder of my life, May maybe. Uh, I could work abroad, but looking at my current path in life, I would say that maybe for the next seven to eight years, I'll be living in the Philippines. Maybe I'll work abroad. We'll never know. But yeah, I'll probably stay in the Philippines for a long time. Are you excited to go back here in the Philippines? What are you most looking forward to? The thing I'm looking forward to the most, I would say, <laughs> this is kind of a weird one. I'm very interested in opening a bank. <laughs> A bank account. That's what I'm most interested in. How do you plan on surviving the Philippines? <laughs> Praying to God that the president right now, who's going to be elected, will be a good president. Wh whoever is elected, please just. Ah, oh, God. Thinking about doing a moving vlog? Definitely, I will definitely do a moving vlog. Top three things you want to do when you go back to the Philippines: open a bank. <laughs> 
Uh, meet my online friends. I have a lot of online friends I want to meet. Finally, it's been years since I've been talking to them, and it's just surreal that I can finally meet them. Like I'm in the same country as them. Like, oh, getting Jollibee, a eh? Jollibee, Jollibee. Things I will miss in Thailand. I would say food here. Food here is so good. Like you guys should try. If you guys don't know what. Khao Men Kai is, it's like some sort of like chicken, sort of chicken food with like chicken rice. It is so good. Like, I can eat that every day. I would say it's one of my favorite foods. Uh, Pad Thai is also great. Internet is so great here as well. Like, I'll also miss like the accessibility to things. And overall, I'll just miss a lot of things that are very easy to access here. I will not miss the heat. Moving on to the next category, career and academics. First question, how would you like your future to look like? I have a very specific uh, vision of my future. <laughs> I kind of imagine myself like this medical student that like plays instruments and I don't know, is, a, is an artist, a musical artist as well. And at the same time, a YouTuber. <laughs> It's a very, very big, very big vision, very big dreams that I have, and hopefully I can achieve that <sighs> soon. But yeah, I'll be working on it. Next, next question: We have uni school reveal, and what course are you taking? So I won't be revealing my university for uh, privacy reasons. But original plan was I was supposed to take biology for my pre-med. Now the problem with this path was if ever I decided not to take medicine, like let's say I didn't want to pursue medicine what will i do with a biology degree <laughs> like in the philippines having a biology isn't gonna get you very far <laughs> let's just say that so instead the course i'll be taking is dentistry now you may be asking wait isn't dentistry six years why do you want your pre-med to be six years now here's the thing if i want to pursue medicine I can easily make my dentistry degree into a pre-med degree, right? If ever I choose not to pursue medicine, I can just be a dentist and I'm okay with both paths. So I think this is the more like sort of better path for me. Uh, it's more flexible and yeah. Some of you probably know what university I'll be going to already because there are not many dentistry schools in the Philippines, but yeah, my course will be dentistry. How did you know you wanted to study medicine and out of all professions out there, why did you choose the path of mystery? <laughs> Alright, so the reason why I chose medicine is looking at all the jobs available and all the career paths available to me. I just felt like me working in the hospital or taking care of patients or like doing paperwork. Like I felt like that's where I belong and I'll be fulfilled that way rather than doing other things. Do you have other career choices in mind if medical field is unavailable for you? I would say architecture is one, engineer, and the last one I think I feel like is business. Those three are like my alternatives if ever I don't pursue medicine. If ever that you're not in your YouTube or YouTuber path right now, what do you think will you be doing? Definitely I'll be studying a lot more or just sleeping playing a lot more i will have a lot of more time to my hands doing this youtube thing like you have no idea how much time it takes for me to make like one video like every week i would have to give up like 10 to 20 hours just to like film and edit and record and have voiceovers and everything so with all of those free time i would probably just maybe study more hang out more with my friends but i won't probably do much other than just studying for medicine and all that you're actually a bit familiar to me but what's your ultimate goal in life <laughs> so my ultimate goal i would say this is a very very far-fetched goal but either number one artist on spotify or owner of a skincare company yeah i want to drive a ferrari <laughs> i'm very confused right now bro please help me decide medical or engineer let me guess, you're from India. <laughs> Can you be my doctor? Can you wait 10 years? <laughs> were you always on top of your class batch since you were a kid? Definitely not. <laughs> I was definitely up there in terms of math and science, but overall, I was just an okay student. Like, I wasn't the best student. I could, like, that's the thing. I could have got a higher grade if I just studied more. But yeah, I was pretty mediocre back then. You know, it's quite ironic that a mediocre student like me is starting a productivity study channel. <laughs> Life is very weird. All right, so the next category we have is advice and productivity. 
Let's go. How productive are you behind the camera? Oh god, I procrastinate a lot. If I compare myself right now to a couple of months, I would say that I'm more productive than myself before, so... But yeah, I still procrastinate a lot. I want to be like you, what should I do? Don't be like me. <laughs> be better than me. Um, I would say watch Matt Diavella, watch Ali Abdal, have a black palette, buy black and white things, get, pier get piercings. I don't have piercings, I'm, I just wear clip-ons. Uh, wear a lot of rings. The camera, will the camera will focus. There we go. It's like putting... It's like putting on a wedding ring. There we go. Fashionable. How do you cope with stress? I I can't say that on camera. Do you have any advice to get up a setup like yours? I am asking because I have no personality or mind. Be a minimalist. I swear. Be a minimalist. What is your favorite book about finance? Have you read Rich Dad Poor Dad? What's Rich Dad Poor Dad? Wait. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Wikipedia. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a 1997 book written by Robert T. Kiyosaki and Sharon Lefkowitz. Oh. Poggers. <laughs> okay, for real though. I, I'll check this out. Thank you. As a person who wants to get into customizing keyboards, where do you recommend starting? I recommend you join uh, custom keyboard forums such as Reddit. I think they have a subreddit called uh, mechanical keyboards or slash mechanical keyboards. You can also watch Teha Types. I really like his videos. He's great. He has great videos for beginners. Um, in terms of buying custom keyboards, I would say order your parts from reputable sites, you know, such as KBD Fans. That's pretty much the only website I know. Um, not sponsored, by the way. Um, you can also check Banggood if you want cheaper sort of like uh, starter custom keyboard stuff. I, I built my first custom keyboard. Actually, I have it right now. What's your favorite study technique? Yo, active recall and spaced repetition for the win, baby. Yeah. Tips for glow up and as attractive body as yours. Do I have an attractive body, you guys? Am I? I'm. I'm very skinny. Like I'm not even like fit. Like I'm just skinny, skinny. I mean, I guess I lift a bit, but like other than that, um, I do work out, so I would recommend that. Honestly, how many hours do you sleep daily? Honestly, man. <sighs> Honestly, nowadays, I'm sleeping like freaking five hours to eight hours, but not even straight, man. Like, honestly, like I would sleep early and then I wake up in the middle of the night and then I can't sleep anymore. That's like so annoying. Any tips for staying motivated final seasons is making my soul leave my body. <laughs> uh, whenever I'm demotivated, I would think to myself that I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> Very morbid, I know, but when I'm on my deathbed, I, w I don't want to regret not trying my best what if you know in the future what if i think in the past like i could have done so much more if i just did this i just did that so yeah just think about it will you regret not trying your best or will you not and that's and that's and that's how you motivate yourself all right moving on to the next section we have is face reveal some of you asked about my face so i'm going to be answering them first question when will you reveal your face I was surprised that a lot of people asked this because it's literally written on my YouTube banner that I will reveal my face on 100k. I think it's even on my description, I don't know, but yeah, I will reveal my face when it's when I reach 100k subscribers. We're already halfway there, fuck. You're at 50k subscribers, there it is. Do you really plan to do that 100k face reveal when that 100k comes? Definitely. I... it would be an asshole move if I just... Okay guys, sorry, but... I was just joking, uh, haha, you played you guys, like... I promise, I promise I will really show my face. Oh my god, I have to glow up soon because we're already halfway there, f But yeah, I promise, don't worry about it. Feet reveal when, JK lol. <laughs> there you go, you like my feet? Face reveal on the Q&A video, please. Daddy, I'm begging you. We all need Jesus. All right, moving on to the next category, we have pop culture. Some of you asked me about celebrities and all that, so I'll be answering them. First question, celebrity crush, easy, Rashida Jones. Oh, she is so pretty. Who's your favorite badminton athlete? Yo, my favorite badminton athlete? Yo, Lee Chong Wei fans, where are you at? I'm sorry. Who's your K celebrity crush? Ooh. I have two. Uh, number one, of course, easy answer, Park Seo Joon. Like, that man's like freaking hot, man. Like, even even a straight man like me would go gay for him. But Park Seo Joon, number one. But my other Korean celebrity crush is, her name is Kim Ji Won. 
If you're given a chance to meet any celebrity, who would you like to meet? I would definitely like to meet. Okay, I have three. So I am a I am an average person who watches YouTube, and I want to meet PewDiePie, Markiplier, and Jacksepticeye, like the the trio of YouTube. All right. Next category we have is gaming, and the first question we have already. <laughs> So what is your apex rank? I think the highest rank I got was gold one. Like I don't remember, but I think I was like grinding my way because like battle. I think the the season was ending and I was like grinding to get gold. I I think I reached gold one. So yeah, that's my highest rank in apex. Name of the video games you play? Oh, I play a lot of video games. Right, Metal Gear Solid, Minecraft, Terraria, Apex Legends, Minesweeper, Valorant, Genshin Impact. Actually, that actually I don't play Genshin anymore, but I used to play.、Uh, Oxygen not included, Stardew Valley, Counter Strike, Mindustry, Call of Duty Warzone, Celeste, Into the Gungeon, Borderlands Two and Three, League of Legends, and Phasmophobia. And Mine? Did I say Minecraft? Minecraft. But yeah, those are the games that I play.、Uh, I'm looking forward to play more games so- as soon as I can purchase stuff from Steam. Because currently I cannot purchase due to country difference. But、uh, I actually want to play Sims. <laughs> Is that weird? I want to play Sims because I used to play Sims Three when I was young. So、uh, I kind of want to purchase it. Oh, Left 4 Dead. I also play Left 4 Dead. How do you get out of Iron? Asking for a friend. <laughs> All right. For those who are stuck in Iron or those who are stuck in their ranks right now, I have two. Tips for you. Actually, three. Tip number one: crosshair placement. Tip number two: crosshair placement. I'm just joking. Tip number one: crosshair placement and all that shit.、Uh, tip number two is to duo. I recommend you duo with someone. I got. I personally got to plat. Actually, wait. I got to plat by myself. What am I talking about? But I do recommend duoing with someone who's like at least your skill or better or at least somewhere in the range of your skills. Finally, the third tip I have is to have fun. I mean, Valorant is a game at the end of the day, and honestly, we're just here to have fun. It's great to have a bit of competitiveness, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, rank is just a bunch of numbers on the screen. So, have fun. Do you have any interest in streaming? Oh hell yeah! And finally, who do you main in Valorant? I currently main Jet and Reyna in Chamber,、uh, but. Right now, Jet's being nerfed, so probably I'll be maining Reyna more or Chamber. So, yeah. Look. All right. So the next category we have is miscellaneous questions. What talent can you proudly show off? I can actually do a raindrop sound using only my mouth. Watch this. All right. Let me just focus. Yep. Y'all heard that? Yeah. What is your guilty pleasure? Procrastination. What's your favorite number, Sir Electric fan?、Uh, personally, I would like I like number two. It's like perfect balance, but other numbers are fine. Two superior though. What's your favorite curse word?、Uh, I like saying fuck a lot. It's I don't know something about saying fuck is very cathartic. Like there's some cathartic element to saying fuck. But、uh, I guess my top two word would be shit. It's not it's not as relax. It's not as cathartic as fuck, but. It's all right. I don't say crap anymore. That's like baby, baby bad word. <laughs> can you do a pen spin? Ooh, I can only do this. Hey, this is a fun, this is a fun fidget toy. I'll be holding on to it for now. Why do you rarely post on IG? Uh, the reason why I don't post much on IG is because I want it to be sort of have like a personal, like personal feel, like personal vibe to it. Like if I just post for the sake of posting, I feel like my IG will just lose. Like lose its personal touch. Like I feel like I want to treat it like a personal photo dump, right? Like I don't want to just post because oh I have to post this today. Like nah nah nah, we ain't that kind of shit. Will we still able to see your fork buddy in your future vlogs? Yeah, definitely. You know he's still in college right now, but hopefully once he graduates he can come back to me.、Uh, but for now we have Mr. Spatula. Please give me back my two kids you have in your basement. Uh no, I'll be eating them for lunch later. All right, the next category we have the juicy one, relationships. All right, first question: Are you single? Yes, I am single. Are you straight? Yes, I am straight. A lot of people thought I'm gay for some reason. Uh, probably because I made it really ambiguous. But、uh, yeah, I'm straight. I'm straight as a weird rainbow that does not return back. To the, what am I? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I do not have a girlfriend. I am sad. 
What are the traits you're looking for in your future partner? That would be how much they involve themselves. I don't know. There's something sweet about having someone just care so much about what you're doing. Or like, usually in my friendships and my previous my previous crushes. Like, I would usually be the one who would be like super interested in like what they're doing. Uh, but it would be a nice once in a while for someone to be involved in what I'm doing. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, someone who's pretty chill, someone who's uh, not super crazy, <laughs> uh, someone who I can just relax with is, yeah, those are the traits that I'm looking for. What is the first thing you notice about girls? I feel like the part that I'm most attracted to in terms of the body part are the eyes. Will you still confess to someone even though you know that there's a big chance for your feelings to not be reciprocated? Honestly, I would. I mean, if you're not worried about them being awkward or if you know that they handle confessions well, I would say go for it. Like, just you live once and, and it'll be sad, it'll suck if they don't reciprocate, but hey, you let it out there. Like, you let it go. It's like when you confess, it's like you're letting go of, you know, your feelings, like you're, con you're confronting it and you're just, and you're gonna be moving on. So yeah, I would say confess. Would you like to hear more stories about my no? Happy 50k, thank you. What's your love language? So I recently took my love language test again and it turns out that I am, I think I was like 40% touch and like 30% words of affir affirmation or something. But yeah, I really like touching, that sounds weird. Did you get laid yet? Oh hell no brother, but hopefully I will. If you could sing one song for your girl, what song would it be? Sample na rin para masya. Simple Things by Michael Carrion. I would sing that to my girl. Or, honey, Honey, green, I think it was green tea and honey or hun honey and green tea, whatever that is. But yeah, I was singing either both of those songs. Will you date with a Spanish girl? Me, for example. <laughs> you, are, you are bold. You are very bold. Will you marry me? Sure. If you stop raging in Valorant, then I will. We're on the YouTube section, right? Let's go. Any tips for a beginner YouTuber? Um, I would say for a beginner YouTuber, I would say to just start or just start uploading. Yes, I know it's, it's a very common advice, but the reason why I recommend you start uploading is because it's for you to get used to sort of like what YouTube is, like the process of making videos, the process of uploading, whether that be a fit for you and your lifestyle. So yeah, what motivated you to start a YouTube channel? Love your vids. Oh, thank you. Um, I guess I for some reason have this sort of affinity for editing videos and making videos. I don't know why, but like, I find editing and making videos and storytelling in general is just very fun. And I just thought, you know, why not just do this full time? I'm not really full time, but like, why not do this seriously? And I just want to share my ideas to the world. And, you know, seeing new viewers, new subscribers, new faces every day, it's just, I don't know, it just makes me keep going. It's it's nice to hear it's nice to see that that my words are touching a lot of people. So that sounded really wrong, but you get what I mean. When will the vlogs start? Uh very soon, I promise. They are really gonna happen very, very soon. <laughs> and finally, the last question of this YouTube QA kind notebook. Do you think you'll be full time in YouTube sometime in the future? Uh definitely not. YouTube is something temporary. I am aware that most channels my channel might die one day so yeah um i will i though i know that i will be making videos like for the next many years many many years but it will come to a point where i'm going to stop maybe when i'm retired and i want to start a family and all that and i won't have time to make videos maybe i'll that's when i'll stop making videos or you know when i'm old enough and i'm irrelevant <laughs> I'm aware that this will be temporary. That's why I really want to explore many income streams and all that because I know that YouTube won't be forever. But at the same time, I don't know, YouTube now, I don't know, YouTube at the same time is like a place for me to share my ideas and to make story, make videos and, you know, do my story build, you know, do storytelling, you know, tell jokes. You know, I enjoy those things and you know, this this YouTube and YouTube really allowed me. And a lot of you guys have seemed to appreciate my videos. Um, I just want to say, especially 50,000 of you, which, thank you. I'm I'm surprised. I'm so surprised that people actually watch me. <laughs> I thought that 
I would be irrelevant, you know, I'll just be that one guy who makes videos, but a lot of you guys actually like my content, and I just want to say thank you for watching my videos. You know, you guys support me even though I don't show my face, and you know, of course there's like this mysterious factor, but like, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you subscribe because you like, you got value from my videos, you thought I was you thought I was funny even though I'm, I'm I'm obviously not you know you guys allowed me to do a lot of things for example because of you guys I'm able to you know make my own modded keyboard for free uh, I can review I can you know I can you know I can try different things I'm even able to get monetary value from this um, just from you guys watching and hopefully in return I can give you guys entertainment value you know, something you can watch in your free time, something to relax to, something to laugh to, um, you know, even value-wise, like, you know, maybe I can give you study tips that can help you, um, and all that. And I'm just, I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm able to make this community, and yeah, if you reached this part of the video, I know, it's another emoji, but, you know, I just gotta see those people who re really watch this till the end, you know? <laughs> If you guys reach this end of the video, I want you to put a strawberry emoji. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like strawberries and I thought it's a very unique emoji. So yeah, I will let you know that I read your comment just like the last time where I read. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Happy 50k. Don't forget to drink water and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!